to the channel guys, it's AL5 and I want to share with you guys today mental toughness for athletes guys, seeing yourself through. Uh, nutrition involves not only what you eat guys, but also your environment and your stress management. Okay, seeing yourself through. Alright, mental toughness guys, let's dive into it. Mental strength involves the development of healthy habits. We have to practice healthy habits, okay? We have to continuously exercise because this is an everyday battle. You're never going to be perfect at it, but what you can do is you can practice, practice, and practice. And that's what I have here, guys. Practice and exercise, okay? Uh, those bad eating habits, all right? Taking that first step and saying, hey, I'm going to have a glass of water today. I'm going to have more glasses of water today. I'm going to have an apple today. I'm going to make a better choice. Uh, feeling sorry for yourself. I don't even have to tell you guys, this is something that you do not want to practice because when you feel sorry for yourself, you're kind of letting yourself go. You're kind of like, yeah, and that's easy, all right? If you want to have mental strength, you will never take the easy road, all right? You'll always challenge yourself to do something better or make a better choice, okay? Resilience, guys. This is another word that you can use for mental toughness, uh, mental stress, or mental stress, <laughs> mental strength, all right? So you want to have some resilience, guys. You want to, this is more in depth when we talk about mental toughness. But it's adapting and being flexible in the face of adversity or stress. We're going to have stress with our job, our spouse, our family. This is everyday things, guys. And I'm not talking about stress of, you know, your phone not working or the remote control is on the other side of the room. I'm not talking about that. But real adversity, guys. All right, we have to deal with these, you know, these family members, our job, people we work with. Uh, this is everyday things, and we have to be strong enough to say, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to gonna control the situation, and I'm going to take the better step into it, okay? Uh, so I'm going to give you guys five tips, all right, five tips in being uh, more mental, mentally tough, <laughs> And more and having more strength when it comes to uh, dealing with situation and that's basically positive thinking guys saying hey I can do this I got this because you can all right number two anxiety control all right just like I'm in front of this camera right now guys I gotta take a deep breath and say Whew. all right it's just anxiety I can handle this situation and I'm gonna see myself through number three guys Visualization, all right? See yourself in that situation. See yourself handling the situation, okay? See yourself, dream about it. My coaches used to always say, dream about it, all right? Go to sleep. See yourself holding that trophy. See yourself taking that last shot, okay? You got to see yourself first in order to get there, all right? Goal setting. When it comes to setting goals, guys, Make sure you're taking steps that you can conquer to get you there. All right? You can't just say, hey, I want to win the championship, and you don't have any steps in between. Okay. Number five, attentional control. Like I said before, guys, hey, if you have to wake up at 7 o'clock, if you have to wake up or you have to go do something at a certain time, say, hey, I'm going to actually do it. I'm going to set a timer. I'm going to make sure I have a reminder. I'm going to go do it, it's finished because I wanted to accomplish that, and it's done, okay? All right, so the last thing, guys, if you really want to be resilient, if you really want to get a handle on this mental toughness and have a little bit of mental strength, all right, four C's I got for you, all right? Control, having some control over your mind, over your body, over your situation to say, hey, this is the steps I'm going to take, and this is going to see me through. Number two. Having the commitment, all right? Not saying, I'm just going to, whatever happens, happens. Saying, hey, I'm committed to getting this done. So I'm going to get it done, no matter how many times it takes. If I fail the first time, cool, fine. It's a learning experience, but I got myself through. Number three, the challenge. And you have to be able to accept challenges, all right? Challenges come our way every single day, all right? And it's your job to say, hey, I accept it. I want that. All right. I want that because I'm going to prevail. Number four, the last one is the swagger of them all. And that's having confidence, guys. You always got to have confidence in everything that you do. 
otherwise it ain't gonna happen all right so make sure you have confidence make sure you guys are actually prevailing having that mental strength that mental toughness that resilience to see yourself through guys and that's all I have for you today on mental toughness. It's AL5 Hustle and Heart. I appreciate you guys watching today. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I'll talk to you next time.